clean drinking water. It's a basic human right. But in many developing nations, water sources are contaminated. American John Ferry knows how to find clean water using a simple test he originally developed for NASA. We realize that there's a lot of similarities between the two, between you know doing these tests in space and doing them in a remote developing you know area of the world. Uh, you don't have access to a laboratory, you don't have a very well-trained operator. Uh, it has to be simple and, and lightweight and easy to do. It works like this. A sample is placed in a dish and a low-cost microbiology test carried out. Any contamination becomes visible and an app analyzes and documents the results. The mWater app is a free download for Android phones. The colors indicate the level of contamination. Whether it's publicly accessible water or hotel tap water, all the test results are collected in an online database. The result is a free map showing water quality across the planet. The World Bank, headquartered in Washington, D.C., supports developing countries. Jay Yang So wants to improve access to clean drinking water. Today, there are more people in the world that have cell phones than have access to sanitation. And for a long time, those of us who've been working on this sector have been saying, what a terrible state of the world that we have. So in 2011, the World Bank created the Sanitation Hackathon, an annual competition for programmers. The goal is to develop software that can determine drinking water quality. There are more than a thousand participants worldwide. About three years ago, we decided to change our thinking and our approach, and we said, what do those tech guys know that we don't know? John Ferry has taken part in the Sanitation Hackathon competition for a second time. This year, he's tackling sewage. His proposal, a global database of harmful wastewater sources. It's one of the 10 best entries. His next project is a shared database for drinking water and sewage. The first test is planned. Next steps, uh, we'll be doing a, a pilot study with community health workers in Rwanda where um, they've already been trained in how to use the test kits and we'll be adding the app and, and having them share the results via the app. So it's going to be a great place for us to demonstrate, you know, the same thing with water quality. That will show if mobile maps can lead the way to clean drinking water. Chip says, good work.